I ordered eight pairs of denim from Abercrombie. 90s relaxed straight leg. Curve love. Here's how it went. Spoiler alert. Now well. YouTube fam, what is up? I am Meredith and welcome to my channel. For all of those returning, thank you so much for coming on back. And for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Meredith and I am a mid-sized and curvy content creator. I'm a size eight slash 10 and I find clothes that fit our curves like perfection. I also help empower women to love the skin they're in, love their bodies, and to help build your self-confidence through fashion and through living joyfully. I found the most perfect fitting jeans of all time from a company that used to traumatize me. I have been completely traumatized by this company as a little girl, an adolescent, and teenager because all I wanted to do when I was younger was shop at the cool store Abercrombie, and I couldn't because nothing fit me. However, they have completely redesigned their branding, and now they make clothes that fit my curves. So because I think that these are one of the most best fitting jeans I've ever found on Abercrombie's website, I got them in a size long, so I can only wear these with high heels. I wanted to find a couple other options that fit just like these. So I decided to order eight pairs of jeans and I think there might be two more on the way. So we're gonna go ahead and try these bad boys on today to see if we can find the best fitting jeans at Abercrombie for curvy girls. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Just wanted to quickly show you guys these jeans. These are the jeans that I bought that I was like, okay, we need to find a duplicate pair in a different style on the website. These are in a size long. They have a front slit in the front, which I love. I've only been able to wear these with closed toed booties and I can't wait to wear an open toe high heel sandal because these are going to look fire. Let's try on the first pair and see if it compares. All right. This first pair is the 90s relaxed size 29 or 8 regular. This is a high rise and this is the Curve Love line, which fits me immaculately usually. And it has a cuff hem, which is a really cool design. Okay. Oh, these are actually longer than I thought they were going to be. I have a pair just like this with the large cuff at the bottom in a dark wash from Target and they're much more cropped. They're kind of like a cropped up here. So I actually really like the fact that these are longer. They fit, well, they fit okay around the waist. There is a little bit of gapping, but it's not too, too, too bad. They fit through the thighs and the butt. I would definitely say that these are probably like a seven or eight out of 10 just because of the gapping. This next pair is the 90s straight size 29 8 short in the curve level line. And it has a little bit of a raw hem, which I'm really excited to try. Now, if you are not familiar with Abercrombie jeans, they have gotten very popular. And I think a couple of the pairs went viral on TikTok, which is why I ended up with a short because a lot of these pants that I wanted were sold out. Okay, this is already a good sign. If they're hard to get up over the bum and the hips, they generally fit perfectly in the waist. All right, so this is their short. That's quite interesting. I was expecting them to be like shorter. Uh, so, hmm, not sure how I feel about the length. I know that with a couple of the lengths that I bought, I'm gonna be pretty iffy about them. I think the regular length probably would have been a little bit better because if I were to throw on a sneaker right now, which I don't have any handy, but if I did, it would be really weird. I'd probably want to cuff it a little bit like so. I mean, I guess you could cuff it, but that is not the point of having a raw edge hem. All right, let's do the check around to the waist. A tiny bit of gapping here. Not bad. I would say that this is probably a little bit better than the last pair I tried on. I would probably give this a nine out of 10 and like a five out of 10 for the length. I think I'm going to send these back. This next pair is the 90s Relax 29, eight regular in the Curve Love line. I believe I ordered the 90s Relaxed in all of them, I believe, but they obviously all have different cuts. So they are a little bit of a different pant, 
but they all have the same 90s relaxed feel to them, allegedly. Not loving the front. What is this? This is supposed to be the curved love line. They're supposed to take into consideration wider hips and a bigger butt and a smaller waist. But why is it bunching like this? Oh, that's so disappointing. I really do like the length. The length is perfect. This is the regular. I could even do maybe the long, maybe not be able to wear the long with sneakers, but you know, if I were to put a heel on, I think the long would be a little bit better, but I want to find a pair that I can wear with heels and sneakers. That's going to be tricky today, but I think unfortunately I'm going to have to take these back. The waist is pretty good. I would say that this is almost perfect. It's like a 9.5 out of 10 for me around the waist. The fit here is awful. I give that a zero and the length is okay. Let's try on the next one and cross our fingers that we actually like one of the eight. I was expecting to like the first three and I don't really like the first three. Okay, this is the 90s relaxed straight in the 29 or eight regular curve love, regular in length that means. And I really like these because they have the seam that goes down the front and also the back. So I'm excited to try these on and also in a white. Actually, they're more like ivory. They're not like a stark, stark white. So keep that in mind. Okay, good news is they're hard to get up. <sighs> okay. All right, do I like these? Hmm. Um, I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't know why I thought everything would fit me perfectly, but um, it's not great. Look at this gapping back here. This is the curve love line, you guys. Usually they fit me really well, but this is too much gapping for me. I do not like that. And I really don't like the length. The length is the regular length, and I probably would have gone with a long length. This is the tricky part about Abercrombie. I really wanted to order like each pair in like two different sizes or maybe even three to try the short, the regular and the long. They also have extra, extra short and extra, extra long, which is brilliant of them. They are just making clothes for literally everybody. Okay, this is the 90s straight 29 or eight and this is extra short. So I'm hoping that it will have like a nice little crop to it. Let's give these a shot. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> okay, all right. So I actually like the length because I feel like I could wear a sneaker with these and still see some of my ankle. That's like really what I base the length off of. I always like to see a little bit of ankle if it's going to be a little bit of a crop. Let's check all the other things. Butt fits nicely, thighs fit nicely. With all of these, there is some stretch, you guys, so keep that in mind. And um, there is a little bit of gapping again. What is going on? What the heck? This usually doesn't ever happen. Like the curved love line usually fits me so well. Huh. Okay, just as a reminder, these are the extra short, not just the short, the extra short. So that's why I have a little bit of crop to them. I think the short would not be okay. And probably the regular would not be okay. I would probably go with either the long or the extra, extra short. This is wonky, y'all. This is real wonky. Please don't traumatize me again, Abercrombie. Once is enough. And by once, I mean my entire childhood. Okay, so the next pair is the 90s straight in a size 28 or a uh, six short in the curve love line. I think these might be the ones that went viral, but we'll have to see. Six is not my size and they didn't have an eight or a 10 or a 29 or 30, depending on how you like to label your sizing. Okay, yeah, I think these are gonna be too small. I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but oh, let's get them up. The length is so bad already. Oh. <sighs> okay, well, these probably, no, what on earth? What on earth? I'm confused, y'all. 
Well, anyways, the fit in the booty might be my favorite. Very similar to the ones that I had bought previously that I was starting this video out with. This is the fit that I love. It's so good. I think these, these are probably a little bit too small on me. It's funny because they're like tight in the front stomach area, but like they have some gapping in the back there. And I don't like the length and these are the short. So I would definitely have to cuff these. These would be a cuffing pant for sure. And that would be okay, I guess, but Sometimes I just don't want to cuff my pants. <sighs> well, we're striking out for sure. I could potentially get away with these in a six, thinking that they might stretch a little bit, but I guess because they're all high-waisted, the gapping wouldn't be a huge deal. Although when I squat down, you can definitely see my undergarments, which I do not like. Although I'm also in very high waisted undies. So let's just see something real quick. Let's pull those down. Yeah, I think that these would be okay. They're not perfect by any means, but I think that these probably fit the best. I wonder if the regular length would have been wonky. I feel like extra short or long again in these. We'll have to think about these, but these are definitely the best fitting through the booty. Let's try on the last couple of pairs. I'm shocked and really disappointed right now because I'm gonna have to send like practically every pair back. This is whack. Definitely not what I was expecting. Okay, these are the best. What color is this? I don't know. Okay, next up, I already feel like I'm gonna send these back because they're practically the same color as the ones that I had on in the beginning. But let's just see. This is the 90s straight size 29 or eight regular in the Curve Love Ultra High Rise. Wow, this has been a bust so far. Okay, see, this is the regular and it's almost like long on me. That's bizarre. Okay, well, the good news is I think they fit decently. Oh, hey. They fit the booty really nicely. Kind of like it. And the length doesn't really bother me. I'm just trying to remember the last time I wore like a non-skinny jean, like a straight jean that went around some sneakers. Cause I feel like I need to try sneakers on with this because, <laughs> because I don't know if I like the idea of having a sneaker on with a pant around the side of it. Let's try on a little heel. Usually I always try those on. Let me try these guys. Ooh, maybe these. Let's see what the heel looks like and see if this length works. Mm, I mean, I guess it's okay. I just don't. I'm either like a wide leg girl, like a wide, wide leg girl, or a skinny jean. I don't know if I like the straight legs. Maybe that's what the issue is. It is relaxed through the lower leg, certainly not relaxed in my upper leg. Let's look at the waist here. We've got some gapping again. <sighs> I'm um, shocked, to say the least. Let me show you guys what sneakers looks like with these because you might not like it either. <laughs> this looks so funny to me. See y'all, like I feel like frumpy dumpy in straight legs over sneakers. Yeah, this is definitely not for me, I don't think. I mean, maybe I could have just gotten like the shorter size. <laughs> oh, this is becoming a disaster of a freaking video. Really not what I had anticipated. Okay, that is okay. I like seeing my ankle. I do not like the jean over the sneaker. Nope, not for me. Proportionally, it just doesn't look right. The only way that I would wear a straight leg is if I had a heel on, for sure. And I would probably want the long. Oh, goodness. All right, we have one pair of jeans left. And if the other two come, at some point, I'll throw them at the end of the video because I'm pretty sure there was a total of 10. But honestly, at this point, I don't even really want those because pretty much everything is going back. Actually, I think everything is going back. Okay, this is a little bit of a different style pant. This is the loose in a 29 or an eight 
long in the Curve Love, their high rise, and they have this little slit like the Mason Margiela pants that I've been trying to find dupes for. Honestly, I think I'm gonna just have to bite the bullet on those eventually and just get them taken in at the waist. Although I've never tried them on. I'm just assuming that they're not gonna fit me. Okay, okay. All right, okay, not terrible. Not the fit that I wanted because I really wanted to find something that really makes me, you know? These are a loose fitting pant, so they're more of like a wide leg loose fit. Not sure what's happening here again. And there's lots of gapping at the waist again. So the Curve Love line, y'all, I mean, okay, so here's the deal. I think my hips have gotten a little bit wider. I think that they're now a 45 inch and my waist is still 29, at least I think. Yeah, mm, not really a fan. And I also don't know why they didn't do two slits. Like if I kept them, I would put a slit over here too to make it match, but wonky here, I would say maybe like an eight out of 10 here. Length is great. This is the long. I think I'm just long in Abercrombie jeans. I think that's just what it is. And uh, for reference, I'm five seven, so. We essentially struck out the entire video. Un freaking believable. I've had pretty decent success at Abercrombie over the last year or two, specifically with their Curve Love line. I don't know what's going on. I didn't love any of the pants that I tried on today, except for the one, it was this one, the last one that I just tried on in a size six. I think that I would either need to do, oh wait, was it the six? Yeah, it was the six, but it was in short. I just think I need to do the long in this one. So I'll see if I can reorder this one, but I really liked the way that the booty looked. In these, I will highlight these below. I'll also be linking everything for you guys in the event that you want to try some of these yourselves. I really liked the style of them. Unfortunately, I just didn't love them on me. There wasn't a pair that I was like, ooh, I'm so excited about these. Like the first pair that I had on in the video. So we're gonna keep trying. Maybe the 90s relax is not for me. I just assumed that they had you know, 15 or 20 different styles and cuts that we would find something. Let me just throw these on one last time and see really how I'm feeling about the length. Yeah, this is the fit that I want. This is the fit that I want. Let's try on some sneaks. And also don't come for me, y'all. Like I'm trying these on real quick without socks on. Please rest assured that I wear socks with my sneakers. But even if I didn't, like, I don't know. Mind your business. Okay, the short length does not work unless I cuff it. Oh my God. No, this makes me, I don't, I, maybe y'all can see it. Maybe y'all think that it looks fine, but maybe you also feel me. It's not, it's not a good look for my body shape unless they were longer. And even with the size six, there's still some gapping. That is freaking crazy. This is crazy, crazy, crazy town. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed my Abercrombie haul with all of these 90s relaxed denim that I tried on. We're gonna go back to the drawing board. I'll leave all the links below. If you are interested in trying them yourself, you know your body better than I do. I'm trying on jeans for my body. And unfortunately, none of these, none of them worked. Not a single one, not even these because of the length. So anyways, Abercrombie is having a sale coming up through the Like to Know app. So if you do have the Like to Know app in March, there will be another sale. Also, never buy anything that's not on sale at Abercrombie because they have sales all the time. So keep that in mind. It's like a little tidbit. Everything goes on sale eventually. So just be patient and hold out for a sale unless you're like desperately wanting something and you don't want it to sell out. Oftentimes they bring a lot of the stuff back, but um, specifically the jeans. And um, yeah, sorry to be so disappointing today and not really find anything that I loved. So maybe I'll try to reorder these in the size long and go from there. You know, I'm gonna try these on with my Uggs too, but likely they'll be too short. You know what else I was thinking was that I was going to prematurely name this video, the perfect pant doesn't exist and then try all these pants on that fit perfectly. So sorry about that, y'all. We'll try again. This is just honestly like how I felt my entire life shopping for pants. And now I know what cuts fit me best. I know what shapes and sizes fit my body best. And I can assure you that the 90s relaxed fit is not good unless it's super long and I can wear a heel with it. Okay, so we've learned something new today and um, we'll go from there.
Also a friendly reminder, if this happens to you, it's not you, it's the pants. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell to get notification for every time I upload a new video. And if you guys feel so inclined, you can hit that super thanks. It helps to provide for me and my channel when I am able to bring you guys free content like today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.